Very good morning, children. So, what are the topic we are discussing? The percentage and average. And in the previous class, what we have learned? We have learned actually what is the meaning of a percentage and how to express fraction as a percentage and percentage as a fraction and how to express decimal as a percentage and similarly percentage as decimal. So this is what we learned in your previous class. Now in this class we are going to learn finding the value of a percentage. Finding the value of the percentage of a quantity. So we are taking some quantity like either it's in terms of kilograms, liters, whatever it is. So we are going to express a quantity as a percentage and also we are going to express percentage as a quantity. So these are the two things and also average we are going to learn. Now let me start if you see 2.5 find the value of the following percentages. So we have to find the value of the given percentages. Now see 8% of 500. We have to find this value 8% of 500. Okay now 8% how do we write 8% children? Yes, 8 by 100. 8% is nothing but how are we expressing? 8 by 100. Of is nothing but multiplication. Of it means multiplication. 8 by 100 into 500. Now, do 500 has a denominator? No. What are we going to do? We are going to write the denominator as 1 for 500. So 8% we are writing it as 8 by 100 of in the sense multiplication 500. So 500 has no denominator and expressing the 500 as 500 by 1. Now what are we going to do? We are going to express this in its simplest form. Simplest form in the sense we are going to do the cancellations. Alright. Now if you observe children two zeros. Can be cancelled. Two zeros and two zeros can be cancelled. Or hundred ones are hundred fives are anything. All right. Now what is left over? Eight into five in the numerator part by one into one in the denominator part. Now eight fives are forty by one ones are one. Forty by one is nothing but. 40. So, 8% of 500 is nothing but 40. So, from the percentage, we are calculating the value of that percentage. Okay. Now, let us take another example. 20% of 155 pages. 20% of 155 pages. It means... Out of total 155 pages, what is the actual quantity? 20% mean. And the 155 pages flow, 20% and any pages of style. Okay. Now, 20% how do we express? 20 by 100. And what did I say? Of in the sense, multiplication into and 155. Now, do 155 have a denominator? No. What are we going to do? We are going to write by 1. And now, we are expressing this in its simplest form. Now, see children. 1, 0, 1, 0. I have cancelled it. Now, left over 2 and 10. 2 1s are 2. 2 5s are 10. Okay. Now, I have cancelled one numerator to the other denominator. So while cancelling children, remember you cannot cancel two numerators or two denominators. You can do or cancellation can be done with one numerator to the other denominator. But not two numerators or two denominators. Remember this point. Always cancellation will be done with one numerator to the other denominator. Alright. Now 5 and 155. 5 1s are. 5 3s are 15. 
Five ones are five. If you are not getting direct cancellation, you can divide that 155 with five, and you can see how many times it is getting cancelled. Okay. So what is left over in the numerator part? One into 31 by one into one. That is one into 31. 31 by one is nothing but 31. Now 20% of 155 pages. So how many pages we got? 31 pages. Got it children? So 20% it means 31 pages. Got it? Simple it is. So only you have to take care why you are expressing this in their simplest form. If you are not able to get it, how many times does it go? You can divide it and you can get the answer. Okay, yes. Next, let us take another example. Hope you are able to understand. Four, one by four percent of forty meters. So four, one by four percent of forty meters. We have to calculate. So what sort of a fraction it is? Mixed fraction. So first we have to convert mixed fraction to improper fraction. It means 4 fours are 16 plus 1, 17 by 4. And this percentage, how do you express? If you remember I have said you in the very beginning class, if the fraction or the percentage is expressed in terms of fraction, then how do you represent this percentage as 1 by 100? If it is simply 7 percent children, we can write 7 by 100 directly. If it is a whole number. But when we have a percentage with a fraction, then you have to write into 1 by 100. Of in the sense multiplication into 40. Now do 40 have a denominator? No. What are we going to do? We are going to write 40 by 1. Alright. Now, let us do the cancellations. Now, whenever you are performing the cancellations, children, try to be very careful enough to check which number has to be cancelled with which. Okay. Now, see, 1, 0, 1, 0 I have cancelled and 4 and 4 are there. 4 ones are, 4 ones are. Now, if you have such a confusion, First you express what are the numerator part we have? 70 into 1 into 1. And in the denominator part, 1 into 10 into 1. Now 70 by 10. Now 17 and 10 can be calculated further? No. They don't have a common factor. Now this you are going to express it in terms of mixed fraction. How do you express? By dividing the numerator with the denominator. So 1, 7 by 10. Quotient, reminder by device. Got it? This is how you will calculate a value of a percentage. Next, what percent is each of the following? Now you have to express a value as a percentage. Till now you have expressed percentage as Value. Now we are going to learn how to express a value as a percentage. Quite opposite procedure children here. Now see what are you doing? In that you are dividing with 100. Here we will multiply with 100. Now let us take 24 of 150. Now what percentage of 24 is of 150? Now this 24 you have to express as percentage. Okay. Now what are we doing? 24 of 150 you are writing as 24 by 150. Out of 150 it is 24. 24 by 150. And if you remember if we have to convert anything into percentage we are going to multiply with 100. If we have to convert a percentage to a value, you are dividing with 100. That is the only difference. If you have to convert any value to percentage, 
what are you doing? You are multiplying that with 100. If you have to convert a percentage to a value, then you are dividing that with 100. That is the difference. Okay. Now 24 by 150 into 100. Now let us do the cancellations. By 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. Now 15 and 10 can be cancelled with 5 table. 5 threes are 15. 5 twos are 10. Now 3 and 24. 3 ones are 3 eights are. So what is left over? 8 into 2 by 1 into 1. That is 16. Since we have multiplied with 100, I am expressing that value as percentage. So 24 of 150 is 16 percentage. That's it. So what are we doing here? We are converting a value to a percentage. That's why we are multiplying that with 100. Again, you have to be very keen enough while doing this cancellations. Okay, now let us take another example. Now, 19 pies of 1 rupee. Now we have to express 19 pies of 1 rupee as percentage. Now if you see, both the quantities are of different units. Now here I have pies, here I have rupee. So first you have to express the both the quantities in same units. Okay, now 1 rupee, 19 pies of rupee 1, it means in 1 rupee how many pies will be there? 100 pies. 100 pies. Now both the values or both the numbers are in terms of pies. Both the units are same? Yes. If the units are same, then only you can express that in terms of percentage. Now how do we write this? 90 by 100 into 100. 100, 100 gets cancelled, left over 90%. That's it. So whenever you are finding out a value, first check whether the given things are of same units or not. If they are not same unit, you have to convert that and you have to calculate the value. What did you learn? Right. Next, the last topic is your average. Average, what do you mean by average? Average is nothing but number of observations. Observations are nothing but the values. Suppose, I am taking first five even numbers. First five even numbers. So even number starts with two. Two, four, six, eight, ten. So five I said. First five even numbers. Now I have to calculate the average of first five even numbers. Now two, four, six, eight, ten. These are the first five even numbers. Now average, what does it mean? Average is nothing but sum of the given values. Sum, sum, sum it means what are you doing? You are going to add. 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus 10. Sum of the observations. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. These are called as the observations or values. Sum of the given values divided by number of values. Number of values in the sense, how many values you have added? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Got it? Sum of the observations by number of years. Or sum of the values by number of Value. So, how many values you have added with that number you are going to divide. Now, let us add 2 plus 4, 6, 6 plus 6, 12, 12 plus 8, 20, 20 plus 10, 30, 30 by 5. Now, 30 and 5 how many times? 6 times. So, what is the average of first 5 even numbers? 6. Got it children? Very simple. So whatever the values they have asked, you are going to add and you are going to divide that. Okay. Now let us take 
another example. First five multiples of ten. First five multiples of ten. So what are the five multiples of ten? Five. Five twos are ten. Five threes are fifteen. Five fours are twenty. Five fives are twenty-five. So only five multiples. One, two, three, four, five. Now let us add this. Average is nothing but sum of the values by number of values. Five plus ten plus fifteen plus twenty plus twenty-five divided by how many values you are adding? One, two, three, four, five. That's it. Very simple. So add all these five values, and you are going to divide that. With five, you are going to get the average of first five multiples of five. Understood? Very simple. So average is nothing but sum of all the values given divided with the number of values. That's about the average. So there ends the chapter percentage and averages. Hope you understood this chapter, children. If you have any doubt. Please do reach me so that I can make a small video and I can clarify your doubt. Okay? Let us meet in the next class with your new concept, ratio, proportion, and unitary method. Till that time, stay safe, stay healthy. Thank you.